Over time, five million diet books have been written and published, and we are still looking for answers to our health. Diet culture focuses on breaking bad habits, food is the enemy, the dreaded scale, and simply temporary changes. But what if this entire time we in our diet culture have been focusing on the wrong end? Hi, my name is Dr. Todd Sinnott. I'm a second generation chiropractor and author of five different books on health. See, to be truly healthy, you have to find the right diet. And I really believe that when it comes to diet, we've been focusing on the wrong end this entire time. So please join me in the kitchen and let me tell you what I mean. The only consensus about diets is there's no consensus. For every diet that comes out, there's a complete equal and opposite diet that says the complete opposite thing. So how do you know what the heck to eat? So there's vegetarian where you're only eating vegetables and then there's something called paleo where you're eating tons of meats and very few carbs, no carbs. And then there's keto where you're having meats and very few carbs and tons of vegetables. Gluten free where you're not having any gluten in your diet. Gluten is the enemy. And then there's fat free where you don't want to have any cheese. You don't want to have any fat. You have to have fat free. You want to have low calorie, you want to keep the calorie count really low. Then there's intermittent fasting, where you go like 20 hours without eating and then you eat as much as you can within four hours. Then there's even a blood typing diet, where the diet is determined by the type of blood that you're walking around with. So how do you know what to eat? It's so freaking confusing. What are we supposed to do? I don't know! So how are you supposed to make any sense of this conflicting bullshit? And it was one day I was thinking, I'm gonna go on a big health kick. And every day for breakfast, I was gonna have oatmeal, I was gonna have a salad for lunch, and lean proteins for dinner. And after three days, my energy changed and how I felt changed, but they both got significantly worse. But then when I went back to more variety, I was having a bagel with peanut butter for breakfast, I was having a sandwich for lunch, I immediately felt better. I was like, how can that be? And then with this realization, I realized that it's not about what's healthy, it's about what's healthy for you. So what may be healthy for you is not necessarily healthy for me. So some people feel great eating lots of proteins and getting their energy off fats. And other people feel a lot better having lots of vegetables and fruits rather than having a lot of protein. The thing is you have to figure out which diet's right for you. And then the question is, how do you do that? And I was sitting and thinking, and then I figured out it's actually, it's all about your shit. When you're functioning well and you chose your diet properly, you're having good, healthy shits. So it's the output, not the input. A good, healthy shit is your body's language tell you, you did a good job. So what you need to do is instead of thinking about the theory and listen to all the diet stuff that they tell you what you should be eating and you shouldn't be eating, check out your shit. If you're having a good, healthy shit, your body's digesting your food, your body's excreting your foods, and your body's functioning right. I mean, what's better than a really good shit? In my book, The Good Shit, we're gonna figure out what diet is right for you based on your individual, unique digestive process. Hope you enjoy the book.